yeah, so this is a nice little area where uh, the prison basically dumps all of its people. It's the name inscribed on the tombstone, James Sutter. descending staircases. And then it turns nice and red. Because, you know, that's not creepy. Oh, shit, right. Damn it. This is the part I wanted to have out for the steel pipe. Eddie! What are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass. You're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart. Dumb. Ugly, pretty, it's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Oh. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. to explore in here. Uh, Alright, so reload this. I don't know. I read somewhere that if you ended up switching to... I'll do this one, actually. If you end up... If you end up... I don't know if it's... I don't know if you can do it when you switch weapons in the middle of the fight, but I read somewhere that if you started the fight um, with a melee weapon that he wouldn't use the pistol he's got, he'd only use a melee weapon. So I might fuck this up a bit, trying to switch weapons now. We'll see. Because this is a two-part fight. I mean, it, it is. He's going to have to... Um, and so I'll find out very quickly. If he shoots me when, I, when we're in this next room here, then I'll find out really quickly. You know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look. 
After you've been laughed at your whole freaking life. Hmm. James not might might not, but I That's do. why I ran away but. after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. You killed a dog. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts out. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> yeah, see, this is just where you're using your bullying as an excuse. He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party. was told was that yeah if you basically pull out a melee weapon he'll just come around and pretty much try to punch you to death and he won't even use his pistol which is stupid and cheap but Eddie Eddie I, ki I killed a human being a human being Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Mm. So now here's the fun part that Eddie just brought up, which is that James is here too. But he brings up an interesting point where he talks about it as if being here is being here for a reason and not as if just you know the town brought you here but actually being here for a reason what is he looking at isn't it possible to get that pistol from him I forget the revolver I don't know he's not trying to pick it up so Like, love how I just keep walking over his body now. Alright, um, do I have a map of this place? No, I don't. I don't even know where I am. I'm trying to remember which door I came in through, and so, yeah. So we'll just try one of these doors and see. And, no, I don't think so. Alright, so let's see, there should be another door around here somewhere, right? Yeah. So yeah, so Eddie brings up the point that they're both here and implies that they're both here for a reason. Which leads people to speculate that Silent which leads people to more on the speculation that Silent Hill is a place uh, sort of like a purgatory. Not to say that James is dead, but it does imply a lot of things as to why the town is, is the way it is. Obviously, if the town is sort of like a purgatory, it explains why there's monsters, it explains why there's... Um,
why there's essentially so many rules of normal life being broken, like Maria, him seeing Maria alive, um, and only to then find her body the way it was, you know, with the same wounds it had when he saw her die. I mean, there, there's so many rules of real of the real life that being broken in this town, so obviously there's something extra going on here. Whether it's, you know, an actual purgatory town, whether there's something actually wrong with this town in the mystical or supernatural realm, there's something different. I like talking about this game, I like talking about um, the elements of this game that's the morality of this game because there is there's a there's a lot of morality instances to this game um, especially with the overarching story some of the things which haven't come on screen yet so I'm a little leery about talking about them just yet because as, as much as I love talking about them in the way that, that they play into the overall all story there is some people that haven't played this game yet, and while I would love to talk about some of those things, um, I would also love to avoid spoilers as much as possible. Uh, so we have that light there in the distance, there it is. things that come up in this game that I haven't talked about. Um, I probably should have said that it's the same in any of the movies before now. Um, that, you know, I just haven't, I haven't talked about the things that they relate to in the movie. The fan theories on a lot of it because of the fact that it does lead some spoilers. It leads into things in the game that, um, that I don't really get into just yet. Bear with me a little bit longer. Um, I will probably have the last episode um, after the ending. I will probably have a little bit where, uh, where I talk about some of the things, or maybe during the, battle, the final boss fight. Even. Um, I'll talk about some of the things that we've seen. Because by that point, there should be a lot of things already revealed for the game. So I'll talk a little bit about more about fan theories and stuff like that. Or worst case scenario, while the credits are rolling, I'm just glad about you know, go on and go on about it. So somewhere around here, there it is. There's the dock. fights on the lake. hasn't changed at all in three years. Let's make sure there's nothing around here on the dock. Looks like it.
healthy drinks or anything of that nature. Alrighty, we found the map right away, which is good. Right in room 312. The word's waiting for you. What's this? Room 312. That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary, are you there? Well, maybe. I got a hotel map for guests. And yeah, I accidentally skipped over the part where it popped up waiting for you before. Oh, well. I clicked a little bit too fast past it. Alright, so let's see. Okay, let's check down. Here's this lead us to. Downstairs and stuff like this. Oops. Uh, let's see. It's Cafe Toluca, Restaurant Lake Shore, the lobby. That's what I was looking for, actually. just yet. Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. area real quick before we go deal with that save point. Got the room to key three the key to room three twelve. Key to the room where Mary and I stayed. over here. Hmm. I sworn. Obviously since it says that I've got the map for guests. I could have sworn there was a map for employees too. Alright. Uh, let's see. This is a puzzle involving the little mermaid box we've already gotten. There's a rectangular indentation. There's a plate in front of the indentation and something in, is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. No. It's a rectangular indentation on this side. Plate is indent had a, the plate in front of the indentation and something is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who fled at midnight. Something is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who spoke no words. Okay, so I think that would be. Let's use that real quick. 
Let's use this. Play the music box just, just yet. Alright, so... Yeah. So, the princess who had no... No, who spoke no words, that would be reference to the Little Mermaid lost her voice after the ritual to become human. Uh, let's see. Who awoke from death? That's probably Sleeping Beauty. And then Princess Who Fled at Midnight, that's probably Cinderella. So we'll have to keep an eye out for those. But for now, we'll say 